Good morning, my darlings, and welcome to another vlog, starting off in the loveliest setting. It is Friday today. We have got so many lovely weekend plans. I cannot wait to share them with you. I think it's gonna be a really fun vlog. Um, but I've come to Dalesford with the number one mission of buying some really nice little nibbly bits for a, hopefully we're gonna have a picnic tomorrow. The weather forecast is saying sun and cloud. I'm hoping the clouds are just not gonna, not gonna turn up to the party because I'm very much not invited. <laughs> but I'm gonna grab some nibbly bits for a picnic tomorrow. We have got four friends coming over um, and Dalesford have the best nibbly bits. So we're doing a little bit of exploring. They've just opened up their new wellness area. I think this teepee is actually for events and for yoga. But I'm a nosy parker, <laughs> so came down to have a little look. It does look rather fantastic. And then behind me, I think this might be the swimming pool, but I don't think that's quite finished. I think that's the back of the spa. Um, and then just look how beautiful these buildings are. And then these are the little treatment cabins. But yeah, I'm just being really nosy, having a little mooch around. I always get so much inspo here for furniture and plants. And this orchard is gonna be in bloom soon and it's going to look rather glorious. I think this is a gorgeous little outside area to come after your spa treatments. And if you can see, there's like a fire pit built into the wall there. These lovely driftwood tables and olive trees. Gosh, on a sunny day, you could practically think you're in Mediterranean. And now this is, I think, the main part of the spa. I'm keeping my voice down because I don't know if anyone's having any treatments right now. So you've got the Bamford wellness area. And then through here, this is the Bamford shop. Very expensive cashmere. <laughs> candles and things like that um, and then the little white gates that we're about to go to is the courtyard that I showed you last time but I'm always surprised it's not busier because it really is the loveliest little spot for lunch I have got my loot to most of the things from Charlie's shopping list, minus the oranges and the lemons. I think I'm gonna pick them up from a supermarket because, gosh, 6 dollars a kilogram. I think these have come straight from Sicily. But everything else we have got. to do is just drive around. I've got a couple of different dresses in the car so you're gonna think I'm crazy but I'm gonna be wearing a different outfit probably now every time I talk to you. Um, but I just want to get some nice Instagram content and today is a nice relaxed Friday. The emails aren't too crazy so I thought we would just drive around, get some snaps while running my errands. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. But I just posted a boomerang wearing this dress and I don't think I've ever ever Oh, oh, there's a little bumblebee. I don't think I've ever had quite so many messages so quickly and two or three girls in Dalesford were asking about the dress. It is from Amazon. Would you believe it? $32.99, I'll leave a link down below. So I thought I'd let you know before I take it off. Oh my goodness. But now it's time to hit the road. I think we're gonna drive through Long Compton, another lovely little village nearby, and get some snaps en route. Okay, my next errands are in the town. I've never vlogged in this town before. But, but this is our local little town. It's just a really cute market town. Lots of pubs, which we're excited to try. We have two co-ops. We also have a very good fish and chips. A nice little green grocer. And if you watched my very, very early vlogs, when we first moved in, you'll know that our estate agent got us a hamper from Taste of the Country. Nice to get some local goods. So I'm gonna pop in here and get some more bits for our picnic. Thank you. 
so we're just <laughs> driving to the next village. I'm with lovely Lucy. Lucia Sage Photography? Lucia or Lucia? <laughs> Lucia. Lucia! I always want to make it a bit more Italian. So we were just driving from um, the town to another cute little village and we drove across this bridge which we think is a Regency Bridge. We don't really know but we're guessing that it's a Regency Bridge and it's so beautiful and your eyes do not deceive you. The dress has not magically changed colour but I also got the dress in white because it was such a good price and I thought it was so lovely. Um, so we've just actually shot a really fun reel. Definitely head over to my Instagram to check that out. Lucy smashed that reel. Um, so we're now in the white version of the dress, just getting a couple more shots and then we'll continue on our little errand road trip. trick with the dresses this is the exact same silhouette um, but this time with the sweetest little floral print on it I love that the bodice is like smocked I just love smocked bodice midi length I feel like these are my perfect dresses and yes I bought all three colorways so we are now literally sat underneath a tree at the roadside in a really beautiful village called Honington. Um, I would definitely recommend doing this. In fact, I might do a blog post on like a photogenic circuit to do if you ever visit the Cotswolds because whenever I'm driving around, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I wanna snap here, I wanna shoot here. So inspired by everything around us. Um, so we just found this little blossom tree by a thatched cottage. So we're gonna take a few snaps here and then carry on with our journey. We keep getting very distracted. road trip today this has just been such a lovely morning is uh, somewhere called Ettington Park Hotel and apparently it's like an event space lots of big brands do meetings here they do weddings here and also Lucy was telling me it's one of the most haunted hotels in the UK I think there's quite a few haunted hotels around the Cotswolds I mean if I was a ghost I would I'd want to come and live out my um, eternity, <laughs> eternity here in the Cotswolds, but it's a gothic or neo-gothic, would you say? Neo-gothic, yeah. Neo-gothic house, which we're gonna go and explore. This architecture is just insane. It reminds me a bit of Hogwarts. <laughs> and they filmed The Haunting here. This is Hill House from The Haunting. Dun, dun, dun. So you can come here for afternoon tea. Gosh, look at this, the terrace. Cocktails, salads, tapas, grill, and seafood. This is a hidden gem and a half, isn't it? Wow. This is absolutely stunning. This is an old, obviously, um, what's the word? Dilapidated chapel. But there's still some amazing structures here. And this view of the building. Gosh, I love playing tourist in my own neighborhood how wonderful oh my gosh
little sunbathing bunny rabbits. Oh, has mummy been out? Has she? You're looking extraordinarily scruffy. Where's your daddy? <laughs> so here we are. This is my loot from our various escapades today. It's been really great. We uh, beelined for Dalesford and took a couple of photos en route there. Um, and this is what I love to do, just pack a load of dresses in the car and then go about your daily errands and get some snaps along the way. So this is pretty much a spring summer picnic food shop. <laughs> so you may have heard Charlie and I talking about this brand of crisps before. I have to say, without doubt, the most expensive crisp brand you could possibly find maybe <laughs> these are over five pounds per bag yikes and yet they are so good they also do an olive oil flavor which sadly they didn't have any left of um but the truffle flavor is just divine and my second favorite is actually the olive oil and then the jamon so i'm i'm guessing torres i'm guessing it's the spanish brand but they are just delicious um you may have spotted a pims over in the corner and then we have got some various things we can have with the pims some cucumbers for slicing we've got some berries oranges and lemons bits like that and then for the barbecue we've got some asparagus for the picnic i've got some normal hummus and some turmeric hummus cauliflower nice on the barbecue some rosemary some purple sprouting broccoli the focaccia that I got um, when our friends came over earlier this week was delicious. So I got another little bit of focaccia. Two types of olive oil. This is a bougie olive oil for <laughs> dipping bread in. And this is a normal kind of olive oil, which is better for cooking. I got a couple of different cheeses, just some nice local cheeses. Again, for the picnic, I'm just gonna cut this up nice and small so we can just snuffle it. Worcestershire hop. That just sounds really lovely. And then this one is Cornish Yarg. Not tried either of these before, but I thought they looked rather lovely. Um, I've got a selection of gluten-free crackers because one of our friends um, is gluten intolerant. We've got some olives, some really lovely cold meats to enjoy. What else? Uh, red peppers. The biggest red onion I have ever seen. Some more gluten-free crackers. I was really impressed with the um, selection of gluten-free crackers at Dalesford. And then I got a couple of their organic cloudy lemonades, some tomatoes, and then this came very highly recommended from the ladies who are helping me at Dalesford. Organic sparkling apple and bilberry juice. I'm looking forward to trying that. So gosh, this is my picnic food haul. Now it's time to put it all away under the watchful eye of my two little boys. My least favorite thing after an afternoon or morning of shooting is putting away the clothes, but I don't feel like I properly showed you up close these beautiful dresses. So these two and the one that I'm wearing now, which actually is not completely identical. The one that I'm wearing now has slightly um, smaller sleeves these are a little bit looser but these two are absolutely identical and yes they are from amazon would you believe it i had two or three girls come up to me in dalesford and ask where they were from and i wrote down the exact seller because typing in pink dress into amazon is just going to bring you up with so many options so i'll leave these exact ones down below um there are some really good gems on amazon at the moment and these arrived in just a couple of days I feel like they're just so easy to wear. The material itself is quite relaxed and yet the silhouette is just so lovely. There's something there's something still quite relaxed about it. Um, we just took a super quick photo on my phone. I'll pop it up here. Um, and I just thought it looked so lovely in that photo with the smocking around the bodice. Fits really nicely. You guys know how I love a square neckline. I love a little bit of polka dot material. And I can't decide which I like most, the pink or the white or, or the patterned one that I'm wearing now. Um, but yeah, Amazon fashion strikes again. I'll leave these linked down in the description box. There is a life I lead in this city. Okay, I've had some lunch and I have done a little bit of work and now back in my happy place. I've bought, if you watch to the end of uh, 
If you watched to the end of Sunday's vlog, you might have seen that I had a herbal compress massage and Sally the masseuse gave me this afterwards. And it's basically the ball filled with the herbs and she said that she just composts them afterwards. So I was free to take it. And I thought, what am I gonna do with it? I thought I would just leave it in here because it's so warm in here that maybe this will just make it smell lovely. So I'm just gonna leave that over there. I ordered, I have been ordering a lot of things from Amazon lately, from my dresses to this cute little hat that I was wearing a second ago for some photos. It's actually a really nice gardener's hat because you just kind of velcro it on, the top of your head is still exposed um, and it's got a cute little bow at the back and I like to have like cap style things on when I'm gardening because it stops you from squinting and sometimes with sunglasses I feel a bit tunnel vision, I don't know. I also ordered some baby hydrangeas. Oh, it's dribbling. I also ordered some baby hydrangeas from Amazon as well. It's just amazing you can get plants from there. Um, and some more seeds. So, um, what do I need to do? I am going to do a little bit more planting and then what I'm also thinking is I found these in my odds and ends drawer. I might try and glue them onto these sticks and then they can be my cute little plant labels. I need to find the super glue. Gosh, it is so hot in here. I wonder if it's too hot for some of the plants. Hmm, I don't know. I'm also a little bit nervous to do any planting today because apparently there's gonna be another frost tonight. Maybe possibly the last one. And then after the last frost day, obviously you're free to just plant everything. But I've got some broccoli which really needs to get planted out, but I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. So actually, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna step away from the gardening, just do a little bit of watering, and do some more planting tomorrow instead. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Okay, my darlings, a couple of hours, well, about an hour and a half of, I say relaxing, but I was actually just <laughs> laying on a deck chair while doing my emails. You wouldn't believe how many emails bloggers get. It is actually ridiculous. Like, if I don't go on my phone all day, I could quite easily have four or five hundred emails. It's just, it's mind blowing. I need to have a better inbox situation. So I was just going through and organizing them, flagging, <laughs> making myself a note of what I need to deal with next week. Anyway, that's boring and it's a Friday afternoon. I have now officially clocked off work for the weekend. How magical is this background? How magical? I just love this room <laughs> so much. And I have brought you in, this has got to be the most talked about toilet in the whole world. I've brought you back into the powder room and we've got the sinks in. I just realized we still don't have the side bits up on the sink so they don't have their like wings yet. But I finally have a toilet <laughs> in my powder room. I was just checking through the comments in the vlog that went live yesterday, which was the powder room reveal, albeit without the sinks. <laughs> Everyone shared my excitement just by seeing the wallpaper done. And a few people said, Josie, is there not gonna be a toilet in your powder room? Yes, my darlings, there is, and it is now installed. So this is the kind of matching, I guess you could say, toilet to, um, like, it's the same kind of style as the things that I've got. So I've got a gold, a gold downpipe, we've got a gold flush, which is very jazzy indeed, kind of annoying that that pipe is silver, and the hinges are silver. I might see if we can get uh, gold hinges especially, because that is a little bit annoying, but it's beautiful, also from Burlington, um, and oh, I still can't get over these sinks. So as you might be able to guess, I've come in here to do a bit of pottering around because there's like, you know, painter's cloths and junk everywhere. Um, and I just want to get this room nice and tidy. So I'm going to do 20 minutes or so of pottering about in here, tidying up. And someone left a comment um, on the vlog that went live called like Powder Room Reveal saying, Josie, why don't you try this in there? And ooh -hoo -hoo, what a wonderful idea that is. So I am gonna give it a go. Um, there's no electric slots in there, because obviously it's a bathroom, but I don't have it plugged in anyway, so let's give it a go. Okay, so 
So after a little tidy up and positioning of the lamp, this is what the powder room is currently looking like. Obviously we still don't have any lights in here, so I have to kind of finish up what I'm doing in here at around 7 p.m which is nearly the time now. Uh, so yeah, these little wings, the marble wings, either side of the sink are not glued on yet. Um, but I realized that they did actually come with some glue. So I'm gonna do that in the morning. Let me know your thoughts down below about having the lamp in here. I actually really, really like it. It can't go really any further back because of the slope of the ceiling. So when you are, sat on the toilet that's your view and I don't hate it I actually think it's pretty fun um, oh, just it is so magical I love this room so so much I cannot wait to get some mirrors up on the wall that'll really um, start to start to finish it off does that make sense you won't actually believe what um, mirrors I've ordered I'm kind of thinking they might be temporary, but I have ordered two, I'll pop a picture of them on the screen here, two gold framed mirrors from, I don't know why I had you facing away, from Aldi. Aldi is in affordable supermarket Aldi. Who'd have thought it? But I googled gold mirrors um, and I was really looking for things that could be, that were firstly very affordable and secondly would get delivered really quickly and these say delivery in two to seven days so that's the plan for now to see how i like the look of the gold but i think my long-term plan is to get the susie atkinson pink bobbled mirrors that i keep talking about but they do have a really long lead time and they are very expensive so i need to kind of build myself up to those and these aldi ones are 49 pounds and I think that we'll be able to find somewhere really lovely in the cottage when that is done um, as their permanent place. So it seems like a win-win. So they're gonna go in here. But anyway, I need to go and top up my makeup um, and go and whiz around downstairs with a quick tidy because our lovely friends Rory and Nathan are coming over for essentially a barbecue Nando's. Charlie is getting really good at doing this like spiced spatchcock chicken. Um, and chips, basically. They're like potato wedges. I've got sun a little bit today, haven't I? I had factor 30 on, and it's April. Anyway, need to get cracking. I have just popped on my Elemis Pro Collagen Fine Line Eye Mask. I think from yesterday, I don't think I wore sunglasses yesterday and I was squinting the whole day because of the glorious sunshine and I woke up this morning and I was like, whoa, <laughs> did someone ring the fine line alarm? <laughs> wow, I'm getting wrinkly around the eyes. So I pop these on. I feel like they're a good short-term fix. Like if I was going to a nice event, I'd pop these on. Charlie, often if we're going somewhere, he'll pop these on as we're about to drive. Obviously it's different for girls because you can't really put them on when you've done your makeup, but Charlie actually has some in the glove box in the car. That is how bougie that boy is. Charlie's currently in the gym. I'm just putting away some laundry. We had such a lovely evening last night. Again, we stayed out. When we have the chimney on one side of the table and the fireball on the other, like puthering heat from both sides, you can stay out there. I think it was honestly getting frosty all around us, but we were nice and toasty. I did um, end up putting my Uniqlo um, puffer jacket on underneath my cardigan. Um, that cardigan has been the best thing, the long line. 
my long line cardigan, the thick one, from a brand called Seen On Her. I'll show you again in a second. It's just amazing for these evenings out. I think I put this one on the wrong way around. Never mind. Um, so another glorious day today, just like a few wispy, hazy clouds. We have got four friends coming over and two doggies. So we're going to be six humans and four dogs. It's going to be a lovely day. Might end up playing some croquet on the lawn. I think we're going to take a picnicky, snacky, not too much food, just like little nibbly bits up to Winderton, which I'm looking at right now. I can see the view to Winderton up here. Um, the rapeseed is in full bloom, so it's really spectacular because when you're up there, not only do you see down into our village, but you also just see like endless seas of yellow fields and it's beautiful um and hopefully that'll tire out the doggies i just opened up some post and i've been sent these beautiful very spring colored hair bubbles from nice cream and they're so lovely i'm going to leave them in here um they're just absolutely gorgeous i'm going to want to show you what's on my feet right now so these are <laughs> like a really clunky, but you can imagine like the Instagram cool girls wearing slippers like this, really chunky slippers from Emu. And they're that super soft, lovely, fluffy material on the top. My toes actually, they're quite tight on the straps. I'm sure they'll loosen, but my toes don't actually come out at the end yet. Um, I did size up on these. And then they've got like, can you see in the mirror, a proper sole. So if I need to tootle out to the garden, they'll be great. And also where the sole is quite chunky, oops, I've got my trousers tucked into them. Um, where the sole is quite chunky also gives me a bit of height, which is great because these pajamas, I love them. They are from Serena Days. As you can see, they're a bit long for me. So these, the height on the slippers stops them trailing on the ground quite so much. I need to put the laundry away and then do a little bit of food prep, so I'll catch up with you later on. my darlings it is now sunday morning once again wasn't planning for this vlog to span three days but as you'll have seen i didn't film too much yesterday it was just a lovely afternoon with friends we went for a gorgeous walk we had um we had these little canned cocktails which sounds a little bit weird but they were really nice that we enjoyed up on the hill and we could see beautiful vistas of yellow fields of rapeseed and we could see down to the church it was absolutely gorgeous we had the four doggies with us um and then we came back and charlie did the most fantastic barbecue and Often when I'm with friends, I just don't pick up the vlogging camera. So I'm very sorry about that. I'm gonna try a little bit harder today. So I'm dressed up again. We are heading to brunch with our neighbors, Ben and Robin, who I'm sure she won't mind me saying because it's already on her Instagram, got engaged on Friday. Very quick funny story, I actually bumped into Robin as we were leaving Dalesford on Friday, which I think was actually in this vlog. In fact, I think you can see her pulling up in her mini um, behind me when I'm vlogging at Dalesford. And I was like, oh my gosh, what are you doing here? We should have grabbed brunch together. And she was going for an interview to do some social media content at Dalesford. Um, but actually it was all a ruse and Ben had prepared this amazing or organized this amazing lunch there for her and he proposed. So we are going to theirs this morning. Um, I think we're going to do a little bit of gardening together. We're going to have brunch. Yes, we're going to be doing gardening and I'm wearing this, but and celebrate. So outfit of the day is this gorgeous dress, uh, which is from a brand called, I think it's Luc Von Signa, I think that might be the pronunciation. Um, I've got my Longchamp brioche bag. I just love the colour. Ooh, I actually like how it looks with the handle like this. It could look really cute as a little kind of small bag. wonder if I can do something with the straps to make it end up like this. And then I have got my needle and thread chunky cardigan here just in case it gets a bit chilly. It is day three since I washed my hair, so that is just clipped back. I'm gonna grab some sunglasses. I've got just my little Valentino sandals on. 
So that's my Sunday brunch outfit of the day. So while Robin and I have been having girly chats in the house, the boys have been sourcing various troughs <laughs> from around the farm. And they've just very proudly fat told us that they found a couple of good ones, which they're loading up onto the tractor. <laughs> so funny. Hey, mate. Charlie has officially become a farmhand. I do desperately want one of these, and we've decided that there's a field quite far from the house which we're going to have a race track. No! Yeah. Yeah. What are you actually doing right now, darling? Explain the situation. Just putting this winch back in. Winch? Yeah. And what did you do with the winch? We moved that, look, you can see where it was before. Oh, so it came from there. We've been going around drilling holes in all of the troughs. So I think we found three troughs for Ben and Robin, and two for us. And then we drilled holes in them so the water's all dripping out. They're all full of water. Mm. And then the aim is now to transport them but obviously to get them out of position because a lot of them are in like under bushes and stuff. I guess they must have put them in places to keep them in the shade. Yeah. See, it's like already hitting it. Yeah. <laughs> look a little bit windswept so we are at the farm and the boys have been having a great time picking up troughs from various areas of the farm and now we are going to try and attempt to get them back to our house so the boys are loading up the can-am over there the, the tractor or trackster honestly I think Charlie rather fancies himself as a bit of a farm hand he has been loving going around the field with the fields with the boys but now we're going to head back to our house to see where the troughs are going to go and then we're going to come back here via the garden center we're going to pick up lots of herbs um, some lavender some rosemary and do some planting here at ben and robin's farm they've only been here for about a month um, but we've been dreaming up lots of amazing ideas for their garden so now it's time to uh, put them into action <laughs> We are back home again and Ben and Robin and Josh have just left. They, they dropped off two troughs which we are now going to plant up. Well, probably not this afternoon. I think we just want to chill now. It has been a busy weekend of seeing lots of different pals. But let me show you our new planters. So the new additions are this fantastic massive trough over here, which I think Charlie and I are going to be arguing over who gets to decide what's planted in there and then and then a slightly more agricultural style trough what are we thinking for this one then i don't know exactly i do think we'll turn it around the other way so this isn't as obvious oh yeah um well this will be great for me to put things like um probably cauliflower well i was thinking something with height uh sprouts Brussels sprouts so for That'd now, be fantastic. I think we live down here and it doesn't get an awful lot of sun mm -hmm. when this tree's in full bloom. Yeah. But obviously we're going to gravel all this area, aren't we, and level it all off mm -hmm. in the coming weeks. But it's nice to have something here with a bit of colour. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then I'll have mint and rosemary. I've got two types of rosemary on a grow and two types of mint. Hmm. Yeah? Seriously, this is my trough. This is... <laughs> oh, you're not getting your, your hands on that, darling. You have got all your other planting space. That's fair enough. Um, so yeah, we need to clean up later this week. Sounds good. Has it got drainage holes? Yeah, but we need a few more. Yeah, definitely. It's just got two on each side at the moment. Yeah. Super. Maybe where there's no grass. We're not planting anything in it and leaving it there. Actually, it looks quite nice. Yeah, kind of. 
creates more. It does important. actually look quite nice there. I have come into the gold bedroom. I don't know why we call this the gold bedroom. The only gold is <laughs> the only gold is the light fittings. Maybe the golden lighting. The golden light in here. I don't know if you can really see, but this room is my favourite at this time of day. I remember when we when we first moved in here and obviously Charlie and I stayed in this room. Oh, I've just been rubbing my eye. I think I've got a bit of hay fever. I seem to have given myself a black eye. Oh, it really stings. Um, yes, when we first moved house and this was our bedroom for the first six weeks or so. I just used to love coming in here and sitting in here in the early afternoon. It's six o'clock now and it is just the most perfect light in here. But yeah, I just came to sign off really. I am wanting to get this vlog edited and exported. I'm actually having a day off work tomorrow. I have a really, really exciting day planned tomorrow. And um, I'm very much looking forward to taking you along with me. Gosh, I really have done something very strange to my makeup. So I'm gonna have a bit of a pamper now. I'm gonna take all my makeup off, put some nice face oils on so that I'm feeling good for our day out tomorrow. Really looking forward to taking you along with me. Um, but yeah, I need to get this vlog edited so that I don't need to worry about it tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog, a little bit of, kind of a bit of a touristy Cotswold vlog really. Um, but yeah, I am thinking about doing blog posts, like some little guides to the Cotswolds. If any of you are thinking of visiting in the summer, then maybe you'll find those useful. Let me know if that's the kind of thing you'd like to see. Been a fairly short vlog for me, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>